and we invite Brother Ashley to come as he comes. Turn with me to number 67. Mm. And we'll sing that lovely hymn, Brother Brendan. He is real to me. Glory. He is real to me, Brother. Mm. Jesus, my Lord, is real to me. Let's sing. He's real to me. He's real to me. Amen. Jesus, my Lord, is real to me. My soul divine. I said, I've got to look. 
group again. And I went onto the computer and I started to search the message. And I come across a passage that I'm going to ask Brother Steve Copley to read now. I think we can stand as we read it together. It's found in the, about the middle of your book somewhere. <coughs> I'm not just too sure what page it is, but we want to read this all together. It's just after number 13 quotes. Just after number 13 quotes in your book. And I'm going to ask Brother Steve to read this and watch every word that he reads before we go into the message. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is from God Keeps His Word. Brother Branham said, Yesterday, standing in the backyard of my sister that lives next door to us, Sister Wood, we was noticing a little cocoon that had formed on a tree, and the wind was a-blowing it back and forth. They seen the little cocoon a-moving and wiggling around, and they felt so sorry for the little fellow. So they thought they would just cut the end off of it and let the little bug out. Because when he come out of there, he was going to have wings. Yeah. He went in as a bug or a little worm, and he come out with wings in a more like a glorified state. And he was wiggling and pulling and tugging and beating and biting and trying to get out of the cocoon. They felt sorry for him, so they thought they would just give him a short cut. So they got the scissors and cut the end off. And when they cut the end off, the little bug came out. But he never was right, because he didn't have any strength in his body. He had no, he couldn't use his wings. You see that? Just let them boo-hoo it out, that's all. Just work your way out of it. That's all. If you try to give them a shortcut, they'll never be able to stand. I just like to see them struggle and work it out till God gives them a real birth in the natural way. Just give them the real birth. God has a way of doing it. It takes a death to bring a life. And we've got to die, and until then, we're so dead that they can be a new life coming. Then our wings will be valuable, and our, our experience that we have will be valuable to others and to ourselves. Amen. 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 Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Not knowing that Brother Branham said those things, and preaching the message that we preached last week, Gave me great stimulation. Let's read the Word of God together as we normally do. And is our custom. Isaiah 35, 8 and 9. And a highway shall be there, and a way which shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the wayfaring men. Though fools shall not err therein. No lion shall be there, nor any rarest beast shall go up thereon, and shall be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. God yes. bless you. You may be seated and may he add his blessing to you. Lord. Now, this morning, I want you to let me fade out of the picture. See, God? God, look at Brother Ashley. Many times I... I preach these messages and there's great anointing and, and, and inspiration on them. And, and then people say, oh, thank you, Brother Ash. No, no you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't thank me. You thank God. Amen. We are thankful for the stored up food. Yes, we are thankful for the message <laughs> of the seventh angel. And I want you to so let me pray down. And I want you to get your eyes into the book. Yes. Amen. I want you to focus on the quotes that we are going to read. Here we go. Number one. She has been given and revealed 
to her the seven seal mysteries of the Bible. Now in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, the entire Bible will be opened to the elect. Revelations 10.7 declares that. And then number two, he said, you remember, what time is it, sir? How many ever heard it? How many ever heard it? Say amen. Was it exactly right? Then, we've got the revelation in the last days for the message of the Lord God look, 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 to gather his bride together. Where is it? He says, is this the time? No other age has it been promised. It's promised in this age. And number three, it's simple. It's simple thing. Now the simplicity of this message can never be overemphasized. The more simple you get, the more you can understand. And it's all been pre-planned by God. Amen. Malachi 4 was, was prophesied to, to be here in the last days. Yes. It was prophesied and pre-planned that the Lamb of God would take the book in the last days. And reveal it and open it to his elect. You were pre planned. I was pre planned yes. to be here. Amen. Now we have simple, vindicated truth that we deal with. Very simple. We don't need a great big bachelor of art and a doctor of divinity to explain this. It's just simple scripture. Amen. Simple words spoken by the prophet. Yes. We're going to read them. Number four. Here's the angel on earth. We know who that angel is. And another angel. Mighty messenger come down. See? This angel was an earthly angel. Blood was pumping through his veins. His heart was beating. His eyes were, were moving all over the place. He was, he was on earth in a human body. This angel was an earthly angel, a messenger. But, hallelujah, here comes one down from heaven, a rainbow covenant. See, only Christ it could be. Yes, amen. That took place in the days of the voice of the seventh day. Amen. And it happened in simplicity. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Number five. Look, simple quote. And here, hallelujah, he returns back in the tenth chapter. Yes, that's right. It's simple. It's simple, people. Number six. The more simpler you become, the greater you become before God. Amen. That's right. It comes so simple. The simplicity of it is what drives the intellectual mind away from it. Oh, powerful points. Very powerful points. Simplicity. Now this page, number eight, number nine, and number ten. Let's just read it together. Even the disciples, over the closest to you now, even the disciples, why is it that the scribes say that the prophet must come? Or why is it the scribes say that the prophet must, Elijah must come first? He said, he's already come and you didn't know him. God does it in such a simple way just to pick up that elected seed. Yeah. Until others never see it. That's the 
the truth. You see? Now, conditions apply. To get, to get hold of the truth, there's certain conditions. If he's a true eagle, there it is, he will understand the message of the hour. Amen. If he's a true eagle. Yes. Not adding anything to that, he's saying it exactly the way he said it. Number 10, Jesus speaking this way, He that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but is passed from death unto life. Just think how simple that is. He hated that believer. Now the correct way of saying that is he that understands. Yes, amen. Now, here comes big controversy. You know, Many, many years ago, I preached a message on communion. And we all know what happened way down in South Africa. We know. We know how that spread around the message groups all over the place. Every church, I believe, is, is aware that there is a, a doctrine out there that says communion is no longer valid because he has come. And that was a great message, and that, and that shook the churches, but are you dealing with something here, brother, that's even greater than that? Before you can understand this message, before the disciples could understand the words of Jesus, they had to be converted. Scripture. See, I've been studying on this and it's just bubbling over all the time. And I, I wanted to put this in, but we'll get it on the messages that follow. But I want you to listen to this. This is the words of Jesus. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. That's the words of Jesus. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he might sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee. Amen. And then he said, Thy faith shall, or that, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy bread. Amen. They had to come to a place where something had to take place. <laughs> now, I looked up the word converted. Okay, watch this carefully now. In the dictionary. And the word converted means to be changed. To be transformed. To be metamorphosed. Or however you say it. Metamorphosed. It means to be transfigured. Reshaped, refashioned, remolded, made anew. You've got to be converted to understand the message. Last week, brother Steve Allison came up to the to the pulpit. Let us in the last song. We finished the message and he said, I was standing here and he stood there and said, Brother Ashley, Brother Brennan spoke about what you spoke, what you have preached. And he referred to it as in morphine. Amen. Change. Conversion. Okay? Now, let's go slowly on this. Take a deep breath. You're ready. Brother Brown said, put your spiritual thinking caps on. Right. Here we come to John 3.3. 3. Read it with me. 
Jesus, these are the words of Jesus now. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. So you have to be converted, you have to be born again to see the kingdom of God. That's the scripture now. Now number 11 says, referring to the voice of the seventh angel, the kingdom, the kingdom is the word of God. Right? Yes. So you have to be born again to see the kingdom of God. That's true. Number 12. Now notice all this we're going to look at. You must be born again. That is what? Change. Change. Uh-huh. Yes. Metamorphose. Metamorphose. You've got to be changed.
stood and read that portion where God keeps his word spoken of in, in that message way back in 1957. Our brother Brown spoke about this. Last week we had a little word in there. This week we've got the cocoon that is formed. We're going to follow this. We're going to run along the line with this. You know, he said, run your tights and you're bound to come out. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. See? So, there's your tights now. You ready to it? I, I, I got a little, a little card in your, in your books. I put it in there for you. Resist printing this. The rapture is a revelation. Yes. And there you have the little picture of the worm, and then he goes into the cocoon, and then he comes out right. Amen. Amen. And he fights his way out. That's right. I got number five of simplicity that I've been working on this week. Oh, brother, when I looked at that little, that little cocoon, and I watched that, that butterfly trying to get out, he battled all the way. It was a fight every inch of the way, amen? Yes. And he struggled, and he struggled, and he got out halfway, and then plop, he fell back in it. Then he saw a little bit of movement out he come again and he fought and he fought and he fought until he got out. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And he come out all right. And on the back of that little card you see the butterfly sitting upon the rose. How wonderful it is, how relaxing it is yes. to see a butterfly fluttering over a red rose. Yes, or a lily. But he has to go through in warfare to get there. That's right. He has to be changed. And what brings the change? The seals bring the change. Yes. Oh, amen. Thank you, Thank you. See the little worm can't get up onto that rose. He's got to go through a process first. And when that process is accomplished, he's a butterfly. And he feeds only on the nectar, honey in the rock. Amen. 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 You can't eat that, eat that more relief anymore. God has changed his diet, brother. He gets into the nectar, the sweet stuff, the rich stuff. Right there, right there is the revelation of the rapture. Now, let's catch this. Let's catch this group. Number 14. See, I'm going slow today because this has got to sink in. We're yes. going deep. Yes. We are really going deep. Yes. See, last night we... We sat for wife and myself, my wife and myself, we, we sat and we thought, can we find some preacher in the message? Somewhere in the world that's preaching about the hour we're living in. And we searched, and we searched, and we searched. And oh my, there's so many preachers talking about things way back years ago. And then they, and Brother Graham says, that's exactly what they do. They look back and see what's happened and look forward to see what's going to happen and ignore what is taking place now. Amen. You better look at it this morning. That's right. You know, that word, you know what it means? I looked it up in the dictionary. Listen. The full definition of metamorphosed or metamorphosing is to be changed into a different being especially by supernatural
kingdom. Amen. His pride. Oh, that should get you on your chair, brother. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. What did it? The opening of the seals. What transformed? The opening of the seals.
did he promise? He promised the bride would go in the rapture and the world would go into chaos. Right? You've got to run the rapture parallel with falling judgments. It's a package deal. Australia just about seven days ago. That grandfather that was walking in the street and all of a sudden a young man comes along with a knife and doesn't like it and goes to the jugular. <laughs> just stabs him everywhere he can. He lost six litres of blood. The world has gone insane. God has finished working with this earth. 
It's bond. It's Eichabod. Now you're left unto your own. You sort it out. You want to solve this marriage inequality? You solve it your way. God's way is good. You want to do it your way, you go ahead and do it. I believe God has washed his hands of the whole thing. He'll let man destroy himself because he does not want to follow the word of God. Yes, you do it. You, you left unto your own. My, my, my. Look where we're living. Look what's taking place. You, you just open the papers and, and you see signs everywhere that the church has been ratchet. Yeah. I'll preach it, though. Yeah. I'll preach it until I drop. Because it's a revelation the bride has been waiting for. Yeah. And he will give it to her. And her love. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Amen. Amen. This is what I'm going to read and we read more. Come on, let's read. Number 20. I read you number 19. Get your eye on number 20. This is good preaching, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, read number 20. I was in New York the other week. And went down through there for four miles, four miles. Was nothing but these teenage children with earrings in the air, rapid hair, leotards on, and girls with bikinis. They call it on like that out in the street, and the public had to give way, give, give right way to them. They rule the roost, brother. Boom, they can get that right. 
said, beat, brother. Yeah. And on he did beat. No, 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 no. It's not for the service. We'll, we'll get to that in a couple of years' time. This day, this scripture has been fulfilled. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. So what has happened? Revelations 10 has been fulfilled. Mm -hmm. They missed that beat. They don't put that into the rhythm. Number 23, look. They have refused the anointed word of promise for this age, 1963. Remember the quote now. We should be ready for the rapture at this time of the age. Look where we're at. 2016. Oh, what a time. What a time. What a time. They missed the beat, right? They had a tempo. They had a cake. They've left off the most important sound coming of the Lord. See all the other things. But at the same time, the seventh seal opened. And the Lamb stepped forth. He claimed his subjects, his bride, and his kingdom. Number 25, one of these days, under warning now, when the tribulation sets, you'll say, wasn't there supposed to be a rapture first? What are all these knives flashing and slaughtering people in the street? What is all this about? What is all this bombing in Syria? What is it all about? What is the confrontation between Russia and America? What is it all about? Wasn't there supposed to be a rapture first? And it will be, it's already passed, and you knew nothing about it. See? Number 26, it's already passed, and you knew it not. Now look, 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 look at this carefully. Get your eye on the book. Forget about Brother Ashley. Read the quote, sister. That's what he said about John one time. That's Jesus speaking. That's what he said about John one time, you know. Let's read it. John Matthew 17, 10 to 12. And look at this bunch. His disciples. His disciples. Not the denominations, not the scribes and the Pharisees. His disciples. Amen. Ask him, saying, why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall come first to restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias has come already, and you knew him not. Yes, Amen. Yes. That's his own disciples, brother. Where does he put this messy bunch of people that we have? fighting and fussing and stewing about the revelation that the rapture is history. Yeah. You knew it not! But you have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of him. John came and went right past them. They didn't recognize him. It slipped right through their hands. Has it not repeated again? Look, he said, the rapture will be the same way. Did you get that? He promised to do that. He said, behold, I come as a thief in the night. Mm -hmm. I have refused the anointed word of promise of this age. He promised see, to take the bride like that. In the hour that you think not, just a change. 
just a change. When the rapture takes place, it will just be a change. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and be caught away. Titus 1 2, in the hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world begun. Let this seventh angel, the prophet of Malachi 4, that God sent and vindicated with a pillar of fire, said this, I am God's voice to you. Uh -huh. See, I say that again, that time it was under inspiration. Yeah. Oh my God. What are you going to do with these quotes you read? What are you going to do with these quotes that are before you? John came and his many disciples missed him. And he said, the rapture will be the same way. Yeah. He promised to do that. Number 27. It will close the eyes of every theologian. There's millions and millions of them out there. They're all blind to the fact it will close the eyes of every theologian when he comes for his bride. She'll be taken up. In the middle of the night, as it was to them, they won't even see her go. Oh my. It happens in the sound of silence. It happens under the seventh seal. And when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence. Yes. Amen. In the middle of the night, brother, is the most quietest time of the day. It's the most quietest time of the 24 hour period. If it wasn't for the wounds and the, and the, and the three sirens flying, you would hear absolutely nothing. Number 28, the rapture, the rapture, the rapture. This, this experience, it'll take place and the world will know nothing about it. Look, let's read number 28. It'll be so secret, nobody will know about it. There's a limited few. Amen. Amen. This is a hard saying. Oh, oh, oh. This is just as hard as the communion message. But listen, I'm going to say it. This metamorphosed experience is limited only to the elect of God. Nobody will know about it hardly except them. Yeah. You say, well, did Brother Brown teach that? The world will just think, just go right on like it always did. See, that's the way he always does. That's right. But whoa, Brother Ashley, whoa. I believe in the rapture. Yeah, but have you got the revelation? Yeah. You know, this week, I got a message. And there's a pastor in Kabucha, in Australia. He's become very well known. He, he travels all over the place. Poland, Germany. He preaches in all the big churches, gone to South Africa and everything. You all know who he is. And uh, he questioned one person and said, Brother Allison, Steve Allison, does he... Does he still go along to, to Brother Ash's church? And let me correct you, brother, we are not a church. Yeah. We're just a little humble group of people that gather together and read the message. That's all it is to us. And he says, if you, if you could, could you please pass on my regards to Brother Ellis? But I want to do that now, and I'm asking Brother Ellison to come up here, and I want him to read another quote. A quote that has to do with this message. Brother Steve, would you come up? Yes. And I, I pass greetings on to you from this particular pastor. But I want every pastor to take note of 
preach in 1963 in the message, Christ is the mystery of God revealed. It says, but his mystery is only revealed to his beloved bride. That's the only one who would see it. God bless you. Did you get that? Don't argue with me! <laughs> it's not me saying it. That's the voice of the seven angel. Yes, amen. Commissioned by the pillar of fire yes. to turn the hearts of the children back to the fathers and bring forth the revelation of the rapture. Amen. 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 Yes. You argue with that, you do, brother. Oh my, it'll be so secret. Nobody will know about it. And he seeks his only made known to his beloved bride. She's the only one that can be seen. Why? Because she's been mortified. Yes, amen. Number 29. Ooh, rich one, rich one, rich one. <laughs> Put it in your pocket. Look at it hard. Oh my, he says. The great changing of the time. We get into the beat, the beat of the word, find his purpose, the hour that we're living in, get into the rhythm of it, how he does it. He says when the rapture takes place, it'll be so simple. There'll be a change, that's all. Yes. But number three, he says the churches always make it complicated. God! Makes it so simple. Amen. Amen. Run your types and you're bound to become OBT out. Alright. Number 31. But then, but the people then, that's in the days of Jesus, missed it just as they miss it and do it today. Now the message was so simple. That the smart was too smart to believe the simplicity of the message. Uh huh. See that the message slipped right through the church. Yeah. But they wanted an educated fellow behind the book. They wanted a slick guy, <laughs> a guy that does his hair well, a fellow that doesn't wear a Kmart shirt because it's so cold. I want a clear view that can that come with an intellectual conception of the message, but the Holy Ghost makes it so simple. They almost yes, the Lord has come. Yes. The rapture has taken place. Yes, he has got his subjects for his kingdom. Yes. He has called. And they have answered. Yes. Amen. 
being said right now. Lord, why is this judgment upon us? When you said there would be a rapture first. Number 39, here's the problem, brother. Here's the problem, sister. They don't know the word of God about these things. That's what the trouble is. The next quote, no matter what tradition says, I don't know what to say. No matter what tradition says, it's his word that counts. That's what he'll take. His word and that only. Brother, we have to operate with the vindicated word. Amen. Amen. Not the word of a church. Not the word of some guru preacher. You can't operate with the word of the false anointed ones. You have to operate strictly with Malachi 4, 5 because God sent you. Amen. Amen. And there's no other voice but the voice of the seventh angel in this hour. I am God's voice to you. You better believe it. You better have faith in it. You better trust it. Number 14, the final part. It's the word that counts. The word of the Lord. Amen. Now you've got a lot of food. You've got a lot of food for thought. These quotes that have been read this day, brother, they have been vindicated to be the truth. God sent his prophet, and this is what his prophet said. And I'll leave you with 41. Now study that. Study it all. Gather together and study all. God bless you. God richly bless you. And I say this day, a rapture is a revelation. Amen. 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 I feel good. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I've got a lot of physical issues, but when I finish preaching a message like that, brother, I'm going to cry out Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let's stand, let's sing. Let's sing in our hearts out to the glory of God. Amen. I'm on fire! Amen! Amen! Amen, Amen. Amen. Amen brother Michael. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother and sister, please, the number 33 and 4. Hallelujah. Now we're going to sing a song called, I've Been Changed.
Yes, come on, man. Let's see one more time. Yes, amen. I like this. Thing. 